Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you. And Sorry, um, I did that there. Anyway, <laughs> little twist on it. No, I'm not gonna let you do a normal intro without me interrupting. Sorry. Never. I guess it's that just, is I, the I, norm. I, I find great joy out of just interrupting you and messing up your routine. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> it comes in. And abundance. then eventually you'll just be like, I'll actually get to do the the opening, and I'll be like. Why aren't you interrupting? It feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we want to just give a huge welcome to everybody. We're so glad that you're here and we just um, pray that this just really blesses you um, as we just share what the Lord shares with us. And um, yeah. also a huge, huge thank you to everyone um, who has given to us recently. Um, just truly a um, great blessing from the Lord. And we haven't been able to get to all the thank yous yet, but we are um, planning to do those probably later tonight and following probably tomorrow. Cause there's just a lot of thank yous that yeah, um, are gonna huge. be done. And just, but just know that we really are just so grateful for each and every one of you um, yeah. for every amount that people have sent. It's just been um, just a blessing to us yeah. and our family. Well, because it's like I, 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 I made that video. We, we don't have to, you know, there was a time where almost at the end of every week, yeah. we were like, hey, guys, we need some help. Can you help us? Can you help us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but we, it's been getting fewer and fewer in between mm -hmm. moments. And I'm like, ever since August, yep. God did this shift. And it was like, this is, from that moment on, it was a clear difference. Yeah. On many different levels, but particularly with like the support we, that we get, it's just been really great. But still, every once in a while, you know, you gotta cast your nets out there and be mm -hmm. like, "Hey guys, need some help? If you can help us, great. If you can't, you know, no big deal. We're gonna keep doing what we're doing because God's gonna sustain us." But mm -hmm. it's like we got such a great response from it, and it was just like, "Oh well, Lord, thank you so yeah. much." And so, thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank God. Thank you. You know, the scripture says it's right to give thanks where thanks is due. We get, I, even me, I can get caught up in, well, I want to give all the glory to God, but I want to thank the people too. And God's like, you can do both. Yes. You know, it's actually in the word, you know, <laughs> someone does something good for you. Thank them. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's, it's spiritual. It's biblical. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're not stealing anything from my glory to say thank you to someone else. Yeah. You know, so again, huge thank you. Yeah. Um, and we just really, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Yeah. And um, and Praise so on Lord. that note, we are support based. So if you do want to give to us, you can. And we just have a PayPal link below. As long as the PayPal's working, people have been emailing saying, "Hey, the PayPal's not working." And I'm oh. just like, "Eh, what do you do?" You know, it's just like, glory to God for those who could get through. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. <laughs> I just I don't know what to do about it, but yes, PayPal link below. All right. Give it a click. <laughs> <laughs> If it works. <laughs> so, want to get get into yes, it? So, normally right we in. do not do this. I mean, we've done it like maybe three, four times. Yeah. But I really, really feel like we should uh, do this because you'll see why here in a second. Um, this is a prophetic word from uh, Lana Vosser. She just came out with, I don't know, a couple, a like couple a yesterday, ago. a couple days yeah. ago or something. Oh, because yesterday was a day off, so... Yeah, whatever. But it's uh, it's titled, Momentous Divine Alignments Are Upon You. He Multiplies Miracles for His People. And then I, I shared this on my Facebook page, and I was just like, wow, there's like 50 bajillion confirmations here. Yeah. Based on, like, gosh, just so much. And it's like, this lady is in Australia. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> this lady is in Australia. Even Dutch Sheets at one of his conferences one time, he, he read a Lana Vosser word. And he was like, I don't normally do this, but... Man, here, listen to this. Listen to what this says. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you can see, why is that important? Dutch Sheets, Lana Vosser, our little Chihuahua channel. It's like, God's speaking, people are hearing it, and they're saying it here on the earth. Mm -hmm. And you can see that it's a common thing that God is yeah. speaking to those who really are connected with him and united with him. You know, and, and um, it's just, it's so important to know what the Lord is saying. Yeah. And to, But it's also super encouraging. Um, mm -hmm. Did you want to do any reading, or do you want me to do the reading? <laughs> I can let you do the reading. All but right. I also <laughs> wanted to just say, like, you know, I think it's also um, important that, you know, the Lord, He has multiple people saying similar things or the same things mm -hmm. because 
he's it's confirmation it's like hey let me encourage you and i'm gonna bring mm -hmm. other people and say yes look they're hearing and they're not even in the same region or country that you're in but i am declaring what i to everyone who yeah. will hear everyone who will listen yeah i'm speaking forth my truth and so yeah. i think if anything it's just like yes like you know so when you hear a word like what we're going to read and it just really just sounds off in in your spirit because it's like that's what the lord has been speaking and and so mm -hmm. it's just very encouraging yeah super yeah. encouraging okay so we will sh we will begin i was going to say we will shall begin Anyway, uh, momentous divine alignments are upon you. He multiplies miracles for his people. From Lana Vosser, from the Lord. She just a secretary, so are we. Anyway, <laughs> um, all week I have been hearing Psalm 66, verses 5 through 6, resounding loudly in my heart. Stop there. How many times have we been seeing the 666? A lot. A ton. Yeah. You know, God dealt with us back in 2017 when he was just like, uh, just because you see that number, that doesn't mean it's evil. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let me share some things with you. And God, we have, we have a whole video on the sixes mm -hmm. out there and the, what the Lord showed us. But a lot of times for us, it's Isaiah 66 verse 6. That's the Lord saying, hey, hey, I'm, I'm rendering recompense to the enemies, you know, mm -hmm. to your enemies. I'm, 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 I'm just I'm just overhand writing them. Just, <laughs> just so come into agreement with me mm -hmm. and just know that that's what's happening. It's like, all right, cool. Thank you. You know, um, but the scripture says, and she's reading it, she recites the Passion Translation, says, everyone will say, come and see the incredible things God has done. It will take your breath away. He multiplies miracles for his people. He made a highway going through the Red Sea as the Hebrews passed through on dry ground, exploding <laughs> with joyous excitement over the miracles of God. Mm -hmm. The Lord showed me so many in the body of Christ have been in the valley of waiting. Oh, and the Lord gave me a vision on this just last night, but I'll get to that at the end of all this. And the waiting has been long, and the Lord showed me it has become a very dark night in the valley. The wait for the manifested promises of God has been hard for many in the body of Christ. Hope deferred and disappointment have become close companions to many in the valley. Oh my gosh. As I watched many of God's people in the valley, many slumped over. Suddenly a thunderous voice from heaven resounded, Awake! It is the time to see how I multiply miracles for my people. Yeah. Interrupt anytime you want. <laughs> the Lord began to show me that though the wait may have seemed so long for so many, now is not the time to cave in and lose hope. Now is the time to awake and know that the night has passed and the manifestation of his promises are nigh. She went Southern Baptist right there. <laughs> <laughs> your, redemp your redemption draweth nigh. Anyway, <laughs> I heard his voice thundering. I am turning the night into nigh. I love that. <laughs> the nearness, which is what nigh means. Nigh means near for those who are not associated with the King James. Uh, the nearness of his explosive power and manifested promises is closer than many realize. The Lord showed me that though the wait has been long, now there shall be explosive demonstrations of the power of God that will see multiple miracles. Come on, y'all. Attach your faith to what the Lord is saying. You want, you want multiple miracles or you just want one? I'll take all I can get. Thank you. <laughs> the Lord is thundering restoration from heaven. The Lord is thundering increase from heaven. The Lord is thundering the spoils being gathered. That reminds me of Second Chronicles, you know, the yeah. gathering the spoil for three days. An entire nation was gathering the spoils of another nation. Yeah. So, and that was an Isaiah 66 verse 6 moment right there where the Lord was rendering his voice, his recompense yeah. uh, to the enemy and caused them to scatter. Um, the Lord is thundering the demonstration of his faithfulness. Now, see, that's another thing that people... Are, are struggling with we are just as believers who walk by faith we struggle with the faithfulness of god we think like oh you know that we just struggle to believe and it's like but if you would connect with the, the faithfulness of god that he is faithful to his word he doesn't ever lie 
then it's like you can make it through, mm -hmm. you know? Anyway, the Lord showed, oh wait, the Lord spoke to me as we crossed over into 5780, that's the Hebrew, the new Hebrew year, that some of the greatest alignments that we have ever seen in the body of Christ and in the earth are going to take place in this new era. There is a major divine chiropractic work of the Holy Spirit bringing everything back into alignment. I then had a vision and I saw Jesus in a room in heaven where the bowls of intercession were filled with the prayers of the saints. Had a vision about that recently where the Lord showed me this bowl and it was just full of this liquid. It was like a black liquid really. It was like a dark liquid. I don't, I don't know if it was, it was interesting. And um, I just knew, I was like, man, that thing is ready to be poured out. Mm -hmm. you know, I made a video about it, I think, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> the bowls began to tip and the Lord spoke strongly go, which we literally just talked about in our last video. Mm -hmm. The Lord's like, it's an Isaiah 6 verse 9 moment where he's sending. And I felt like the Lord also showed me with that. He's like, he's sending something from heaven so that we can receive it from heaven and then that will send us. Mm -hmm. There's like a double sending. Yeah. He's sending us, he's sending something that will send us. I then began to uh, see multitudes of angels being sent to earth in such acceleration, speeding to earth like in the speed of light. And I knew they had been sent on assignment from the Lord to move with the Holy Spirit, to bring forth an acceleration of miracles that had not been seen before. A major acceleration of answered prayer was upon the people of God. Um, yeah, and I remember uh, back in uh, 2017 when the uh, Lord gave me a vision of this angel this sh shooting from his throne. It was an angel of, of acceleration, you know. Um, a lot of times when we get like prophetic words, a lot of times we don't even know it's a prophetic word. Yeah. We don't know it's something for the future. We, we get all super excited and we think, oh, God is doing it now. And it's like, well, actually, it's for the... <laughs> but he will yeah. work it out, you know. It's like the time frame just kicks our butts all the time, doesn't it? Um, the Lord is going to multiply the miracles in your life where many areas will suddenly come into alignment. Mm -hmm. You know, and the Lord gave me another word that said, it was on September 25th. And I was like, man, Lord, you're, you're going all on a Vassar on me right now. But, but he said, the sign will align. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. So it's like God's promised us a certain thing. Yeah. And he's like, that's just a sign of what's, what's coming, what you're going to be able to do. And he's like, when you receive that sign, it will align everything in your life. You mm -hmm. you will literally be able to go. Yeah. And so it's like, so this word, I mean, it's just like, we're not even really touching on everything right now, but this word is just popping so many different things when we first read it. I'm kind of forgetting some of it right now. But <laughs> so the Lord's going to multiply miracles in your life. And suddenly alignment, okay, then you shall testify loudly, come and see what God has done. Because you know we're going to be vlogging all of it. Anyway, uh, those that have stood around you and not seen the victory are now going to have their breaths taken away by the astonishing power of God, bringing the greatest divine alignments in your life that you have ever seen. What he has planned is stunning. Friends, can I encourage you? If you find yourself in that valley of waiting and you are weary, discouraged, despaired, raise your voice in praise, which is literally what we started our week off doing this week. Um, praise Jesus. Lift his name on high. Many are feeling like they are dying in the valley. But the truth is, this is actually the greatest moment of your life, seeing momentous divine alignments, upgrades, increase the fulfillment of his promises and the literal manifestation of a new day bursting forth all around you. God has not let you down. He has not lied to you. He is faithful to fulfill his word. Numbers 23, 19 surrounded me loudly. God is not a man, so he does not lie. He is not human, so he does not change his mind. Has he ever spoken and failed to act? Has he ever promised and not carried it through? The Lord spoke to me that healing will come to hearts as his people meditate on Numbers 23, 19 and Isaiah 55, 10 through 11. For just as rain and snow fall from heaven and do not return without watering the earth, making it bud and sprout 
and providing seed to sow and food to eat. So my word that proceeds from my mouth will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish what I please and it will prosper where I send it. Mm -hmm. It's ascending. I heard the Lord say, it's not getting worse. It's about to get a whole lot better. Stay in hope. Mm -hmm. So there were a ton of like confirmations and things popping off there and and um what did you want to you want to comment because i've been reading a ton here yeah. so <laughs> well i just think like it was just so god's timing is so great because um just hearing all of this it's um just coming into just this week and you know yesterday uh, which was sunday i just kind of woke up with again um just that sense of just kind of just resting in the Lord, like resting yeah. in the fact that he is going to fulfill his word and his promises are true. And then I saw this and it was just like, yes, like that is, that's right where we're at. And I just and think I was that, gone. Yeah. I came in, you're like, you have to read this. Yeah. I'm like, you, this you have to so hear good. this. Stop everything. Um, <laughs> read this. <laughs> because it really did. There's so much in it that it's like, yeah, yes, Lord, like, you know, multiplying the miracles, but just we've had so many visions um, that the Lord has given us that it was like, oh, yes, remember this, you know, um, when he's talking about, like, ghosts and sending the angels. We've had, um, back in 2017, there's a vision oh, yeah. that we have where our family's just waiting at a table, and then we knew that... In they, a restaurant, in yeah. In a restaurant, and then mm -hmm. there were angels that were like waiters that came out, and they had these huge, you know, like kind of like the serving trays, serving big trays. Ones. Yeah. <laughs> and that yeah. they were, you know, were covered and they came and, and placed them before us at the table. And it was the promises that the Lord had has for us. Um, and it was individualized too, you know, that each of us has certain things that the Lord is like, I'm going to fulfill this in your life. Yeah. And, um, and so it was just like, whoa. And, and just the fact that we had just gotten, you know, Isaiah's, uh, six verse nine, which was talking about go, mm -hmm. and um, and then just I don't know, just so many of so much of this, it was just like this is what the Lord is talking about, and I just thought it was also really significant because um, yesterday started um, the Feast of <coughs> Tabernacles, and and the Feast of Tabernacles is really just a time of great celebration, but it was also a time of remembering um, what mm -hmm. the Lord did for the Israelites. Um, taking them from the wilderness and putting them into the promised land and and so it was just like I don't know I just feel like this week in and of itself is just this um really a, it's a time of celebration but also just um I think that time of praise you know mm -hmm. where she's talking about here it's like raise raise your voice and raise praise. a praise even even <laughs> though it's like man you know my heart is weary and, and my soul is just like, you know, th that hope deferred has become my companion and yeah. and just all of that. It's like, no, I'm going to still praise the Lord, which is really um, was cool last night because um, the Lord gave you a vision really of just like that whole scene. If mm -hmm. you wanted to share that. Yeah, I could because I wasn't even referencing this when I when I was getting this vision. I wasn't like even thinking about it. And, yeah. I, and afterwards I was like, oh. The Lord literally just gave me a vision about that word. Yeah. But I have this vision of just picture, you know what a croissant looks like, a little crescent moon, you know? <laughs> but imagine that in the wilderness, in the dark, but it's like a crescent of mountains. Mm -hmm. It's like we were just, it's like there was these mountains and we were like in the little pocket yeah. of the mountains. It was, it was really cool, actually. <laughs> um, and we were just out there and it was completely dark. And that, but there was a bunch of us. It wasn't just just me and me and my family. There was a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. You know, we watch uh, a lot of uh, elevation worship and these live worship shows, um, concerts, and there's just a bunch of people. And they're generally in the dark. Yeah. And then the, the, the only light is really on the stage or coming from the stage or pointed at the stage or whatever. But people are just worshiping. And that's what it was like. Mm -hmm. It was just a bunch of us. And there was this, there was this little, like, little campfire like a little bonfire and i could tell everyone in that group was mega tired 
they were just beyond exhausted and then beyond the beyond exhausted. Mm -hmm. They were just beyond exhausted. But it was like, it was really awesome. But it was just, it was almost like everyone was like, you know what? I am so tired. I'm just going to praise the Lord anyway. Well, what else am I going to do? You know what I mean? Well, I'm going to whine or complain. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to praise the Lord. And then we all just started singing. Mm -hmm. And we started singing and praising the Lord. And everybody was singing. Yeah. There was just this circle of people around the, uh, I mean, it must have been like 10, 11, 12 people deep of a circle just around this little campfire, <laughs> you know. So I, I thought it was interesting because I'm like, wow, this is actually happening at night. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like she says in here in this word, um, I'm, I am turning the night into nigh. And it's like we're passing out of that night season of weariness and mm -hmm. waiting for the promises to come. And because in the, uh, the vision that I had where it was like if you take the night vision of that and you turn it into a day vision, it's like, wow. It's like, I think the Lord himself was the bonfire. Mm -hmm. and, and, and during the day, we've begun to praise him and thank him so much that we're like, we're maybe that's what's creating that vortex of, of, of people around him. And then he sends us out, you know, because by the, by the time the Lord launches us and then there's that pause, it's like we were already packed up. Yeah. And then he launches us out. You know, so I was like, well, maybe at the packing, you know, packing, it seemed like the packing is already happening. What? And it's like, you, I was like, Lord, you're, you're, you're funny because what you do is you share certain parts of the vision and you don't, you don't allow us to connect the dots so that we can come up with a time frame of events, yeah. a sequence of events. It's like, you make sure that we can't mm -hmm. figure it out. Yeah. You make sure that we're going to have to be by faith. Cause I'm like, I think we're already it's like that praise part is like, I think what happens when as we pass from the night into the day, it's just, we're just so amped up mm -hmm. for the Lord. And it's, we have exhausted all of ourselves and now we're operating completely by the power of the life of the spirit of God. Yeah. And then, and he's like, now I'm, I'm sending you mm -hmm. because that's how you're operating. There's yeah. nothing of you left. It's just me in you. And, um, so yeah. I just yeah. thought that that was interesting. I'm just like, wow, you gave me a vision of this thing. And then I, and then I remembered the word, yeah. you know? Yeah, so it was just really cool last night because we just we talked about that a lot of, you know, with our just family about being tired and, but just continuing to just praise the Lord through it. Yeah. And, um. In spite of it. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I'm, here, come here, come here, tiredness. I'm going to praise the Lord right in your face. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Well, and that was something I think you were talking about too. It wasn't. It was like they were praising, but they, it didn't cause the tiredness to not be felt or right, the hope true. deferred to yeah. not be felt. It was, it was still just there. Like I'm just gonna keep praising. I'm gonna keep worshiping. And but it was interesting because as you're saying that, it's like I remember it was almost like the exhaustion was becoming tired. Mm -hmm. As we praised the Lord, it was like we were trading that exhaustion for the power, the resurrection mm -hmm. power of God. And then that, that exhaustion began to exhaust itself. Yeah. It's, it was, I don't, does that make well, sense? Well, it's like, that's <laughs> what she's saying here. You know, it's like within the praise, that's where there's, you know, there's like a healing with just like, I think within the praise and yeah. and just like even like meditating on those two scriptures yeah. about yeah. the Lord. It's like there is a a renewing mm -hmm. that takes place. And um, yeah, so I think that's kind of yeah. like what's going on. But it's like the, that literal manifestation actually will be the thing that aligns you. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, now we're aligned. And it's like when you, when you were... We were, what'd you drink? Like 48 tea bags trying to induce lot. labor for our two year, our now two year old. Nothing was working. And you're like, you know what? I just, my back's really hurting and like my hips hurting. And I'm just going to go. Went to the chiropractor, got an alignment. I was like, ooh, that might do it. Yep. Sure enough, that night she, you went into labor. Yep. And I was just like, whoa, that night. Mm, come on, somebody. Um, yeah. <laughs> we morning. That night. It was still dark. We'll call it, it night. It was dark. It was. <laughs> it just wasn't like stormy. So. Two in the morning. Like two thirty. It was two thirty in the morning. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, okay. And then during the day, 
the the sign of the promise was manifested. It yeah. was born. It was revealed. Yeah. So. But we were just thinking, yeah, but we were thinking about that when we read read about just like the chiropractic, you know, like the Lord uh -huh. is bringing an alignment. And we've been seeing the 11s like crazy. Oh Actually, and, and just for us, whenever we've seen the 11s, they really are a transition or an alignment that the Lord is doing mm -hmm. um, in the spirit and our hearts. And I'm just like, wow, like I, this is another one of those moments where it's like the Lord is like, okay, I'm bringing things into alignment. And it's really interesting because how it will happen, it's almost like, you know, how your spine is. What is a spine like C6, C5, C this, C this or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's like uh, with the, um, with those prophetic numbers, a lot of times, because it doesn't happen, it, it, it doesn't happen like all the time. And, and then it only happens when God's like, all right, I'm aligning things for you to shift. Mm -hmm. And it will always happen like this. We'll see 211, then we'll see 311, then we'll see 411, <laughs> then we'll see 511. It's, it'll just happen like that. Yeah. We'll start seeing those. And it's just like, oh, God's doing something. Yeah. He's doing a transition. Get ready for a transition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I just, I don't know, I just think that, yeah, we definitely have seen that for sure as far as like, mm -hmm. you know, him transitioning um just i don't know even i think into this week there is a transition that's going on yeah all right well i think that's really all that we have for you guys today i know it's I kind of it's a enough. shorter <laughs> a little bit of a shorter video a little bit different than what we normally do but um you know we just pray that you guys really are encouraged by the words that the word mm. is speaking and i just you know Jesus. i just believe that you know he's really been over the last couple of weeks um well, really, honestly, for me, since the beginning of September, just like really wanting to, my heart and all of our hearts to know, he's like, I am going to do what I have promised. Mm -hmm. I am coming in and I am going to fulfill my word. And I just think that it's like one of those things where we really do need to put our minds to that, put our mind to the fact that God is faithful to his word, that he doesn't lie, that he is truth. Yeah. And so everything that comes from him is true and that it will be accomplished. Yeah. And, and so I just, you know, this hopefully will just continue to encourage you to believe the words of the Lord, to continue to just have hope, holding on to him mm -hmm. as your hope that, you know, he is faithful. He is going to fulfill his word just as he did in the you know, that we've heard of old, you know, they talk about that in the scriptures and mm -hmm. the Psalms. It's like, Lord, you know, we have heard of old, all these testimonies of, of people that you have fulfilled the promises in their lives. So come now and fulfill the, your word in our own life. Mm -hmm. And I just believe that God is going to do that. And, and he is going to show himself strong in our behalf. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we are going to see just the the miraculous hand of the lord and he really has brought us to a place to have us see it you know that picture of just being out in the wilderness and surrounding the the bonfire it's like he's brought us there to show us his miraculous hand you know and and it's like that is what the lord is is talking about and speaking to is like yeah. i have brought you here for more than just to bring you out into the wilderness. Yes. That's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. You want to? Yeah. I just felt like the Lord. I remember the Lord. Because I was like, that's what we were talking about between one <laughs> yeah. of our edits in there. I was like, I feel like there's more to it, but I can't remember. <laughs> I couldn't either. I was just like, I just, something, yeah, the Lord's there's like, something wait, different. Before you go, yeah. <laughs> let me add But I felt like more. the Lord was just like, if you only knew, mm -hmm. if you only knew, you would just, your praise would be a hundred times more brighter than it is right now. He's like, I led you out into this place, that Crescent Valley, you know, uh, I was like, I led you out this place. My mercy led you out here. I brought you out here because I love you. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm having mercy upon you. I've, I've, I've drawn you from all these different walks of life and kind of isolate. We, we, a lot of us, we feel isolated. Mm -hmm. You know, even if we're surrounded by the entertainment industry or the business world or whatever, we still, there's a sense of isolation mm -hmm. that has taken place. Um, even if you're surrounded by family and friends and all that, there's a something in you that where you're just like you just feel isolated. And it's like that's the Lord. Mm 
Yeah. He's like, I've brought you out here into this wilderness place I, because I love you, because I'm pleased with you. I'm, I, my mercy has led you out here. And it's like, you, I, you have no idea what I'm saving you from. Mm-hmm. You know, you have no idea, and it's like, but you're going to. You're yeah. getting ready to see, and it's like, it's like I've spoken tenderly to your heart, and all these things. It's like because I, I believe in you. Yeah, I, I love you. I, I'm, I'm wanting to just impart great things to you, and you mm-hmm. listened, and you followed me, and so my mercy led you to this place. Yeah, yeah, you're exhausted, and you're tired, and you're like, oh my gosh. You know, it's like Lord, you told us to go on up and believe again for this year, and this time you'd give it into our hand. Um, it's the middle of October, yeah. uh, <laughs> like, but it's like, we're, we're not afraid. We're yeah. just, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm just like, Lord, you're going to just, we're just going to follow you no matter what we're on your team. I yeah. don't care what the scoreboard says at the end of this, we're going to win. It's going to say we win. Yes. Cause that's what you, it's, that's what's already settled in heaven. So that's what's going to happen here on earth. And so that's what the Lord was saying. He was like, my mercy led you to this place. That's it. <laughs> that's what it was yes. that we forgot <laughs> yeah and so that was just like you know the lord he just wants us to know like he he has tenderly loved us through this whole journey and he's just like my mercy is just upon you mm-hmm. and and he has just great and mighty things for each and every one of us in our lives and um and he is ready to fulfill his word and he is just so delighted in every person that has continued on the journey that he's invited you to and i just i think we can kind of lose sight of that you know when when we are just so hope deferred and yeah. and saddened in our hearts but it's like the lord has all we see is this yeah well, i don't see like, nothing i don't see anything <laughs> I but see it's, darkness and pain. <laughs> yeah. And so, and I think in a lot of times in that you can, you know, when you've been af- afflicted and you've been torn down and all of that, it's like, ugh. Like, you know. And then the Lord's asking you, continue to believe. Yeah. Have great faith. I am coming. Yeah. It's like, but bro, you said you was coming three years ago. <laughs> you ain't showed up yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's like, but I think that the Lord, he is just, he receives that. Um, he receives the praise. It has yeah. a very special fragrance to it. Yes. And and I think you know mm. that reminds me of the I'm bowls that it. had like the that it was like a darker liquid. It was. But it was. But the Lord, when you got that, was showing us that it comes out of. It's like the prayers that came out of sorrow. Oh, that, that's that right. what was sown in sorrow is going to be reaping joy yeah and and like there is just um Mm -hmm. i don't know there is just this time in the season the lord told us when we first started going into it it's like enjoy this time because it will never be the same and i think that the lord himself is enjoying this time because the kinds of worship and prayer that has come out of this time of and sorrow. heart reaping and heart yeah. harvest that he's gotten from it is it's, just it's, been amazing for him. And and it's like it's a very unique and mm-hmm. special kind of prayers and worship and and what he's done in the heart is very unique because of being in the wilderness, because of that place of just deep sorrow and yeah and but yet still coming back to the lord no matter how many times you've you know you've felt rejected it's like well i'm coming back to you lord and i'm going to continue to follow after you and there is just there is just a great sweetness which actually reminds me okay so we're not done yet but um <laughs> It's but, all right. Get in the flow. But it just reminded me, um, you know, I was talking in the last video how, like, the Lord's been working on my heart. And there is a third part of it. And <gasps> That's um, right. Yeah, we so not done. Get your popcorn. <laughs> Get your Coca-Cola. And, um, <laughs> no, but it was just, I was just reminded of this because we ended up um, on Saturday night um reading uh, from Luke chapter 7 and I think it starts in around verse 35 um, the whole story and Jesus is at one of the Pharisees 
um, house and he's at table, reclining at table. And <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says, at and, table, not and, at the table. It says at, at table. table. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but then this woman comes in and, and everybody, and she's, she breaks perfume and she's um, basically washing Jesus's feet with this perfume and the tears that in her and she's wiping his feet with her hair and and the Pharisees are like hey if he if he was truly a pop, prophet he then he would he know, would know yeah. that <laughs> she's this like notorious <laughs> sinner and and yet um you know but then Jesus he he then turns and he's talking to uh Simon and was like well, hey, since I came in, you didn't offer me anything for my feet. Yet she came in and she started cleaning my feet with her tears. And, and you know, and then you didn't anoint me with regular oil, yet she's anointed me with a costly perfume. And, and just wiped um, my feet with her hair. And, and it's just like, that's really the picture that God was saying. Um, and so, um... Basically, it says in verse 47, Therefore I tell you, her sins, many as they are, are forgiven her, because she has loved much. And, but he who is forgiven little loves little. But the Lord was just sharing with me. That's a 747, by the way. Yeah. And, <laughs> and the Lord just really was sharing like, hey, this is you know you have loved much mm -hmm. and I really believe that's a word for so many people you know if you're one of those that's gone through this journey and your heart has just seen so much sorrow I feel like God is saying like you have loved much and oh, what am um, I doing what am I gonna learn <laughs> I don't know what am I gonna learn <laughs> and and really to kind of follow up on that was verse um, 50 which says but Jesus said to the woman your faith has saved you Go, enter, Go. enter into <laughs> peace and freedom from all the distresses that are experienced as a result of sin. And then, so it was just like, wow, God is just speaking peace. And then he basically, literally this same night, right after God time, I was like, I think we ended at like 848, but that was the third time I've seen, I saw that number that day. And I was just like, all right, I got to figure out what this, this is right and I go and it is in Luke 8 verse 48 and he said to her daughter your faith your confidence and trust in me has made you well go enter into peace untroubled undeserved undisturbed well-being and that was talking to the woman with the issue of blood and mm. and it was just like wow or that is can I put it down yes okay thanks you know and <laughs> and I just believe that that that's like the Lord, he's saying, you know, there's been a lot of distress. You know, the woman with the issue of blood, she was extremely distressed, had been that mm -hmm. way for 12 years. It was a long journey for her. And, yeah. but it was her faith, you know, her, her going after the Lord. And, and it was just like, I'm going to come after you. And, and I think it was really cool because even, I think you said that, I think it was that night where you were like, you know, Oh yeah, because you said you have loved much, and and part of me was just like, I feel like I haven't loved much, <laughs> but but the Lord was just saying like, no, you've loved much because you've just allowed me to work, you've allowed me, you've just come you after poured me. Poured out your heart at mm -hmm. my feet. I had a vision recently about crying at the feet of Jesus. Mm -hmm. His feet were just like no feet I'd ever seen before. Oh yeah. And I'm just weeping. I'm just like, I don't know what that is, but man, yeah, it's like that's that's what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. That's what we've been doing. That's what everyone yeah. in that wilderness area has been doing. We've just been pouring out our lives, yeah. you know, getting ridiculed about it, getting just all kind of negativity about it, feeling the dryness of it, and just all the, you know, just but you were still pouring it out and pouring it out and pouring it out, mm -hmm. and the Lord's just like, ooh, that's tasty. Yeah. Man, that smells good. That kind mm -hmm. of poured out life. I it's love that, it. It's that costly <laughs> perfume. Mm -hmm. And that's why I thought mm -hmm. of this because it was like, that is what the Lord is saying. The This time in the wilderness. It was like the part three of your story. Yeah. The has, healing. Has broken <laughs> open a costly perfume. Mm, and, and that 
sweet Jesus. scent and our tears have mm -hmm. washed Jesus' feet because we've gone after him Jesus. and just shown him mm, come our love. Yeah. And he's like, I am going to come and I'm mm. going to wipe away every tear from your eyes. Revelation 7, 17. And I, and you are going to just receive Jesus. an abundance of me pouring out on you. Yes. You you have all oh, poured Lord. out upon me and so now I'm going to pour myself out upon you. And and it's going to be in the form of fulfilled promises and miracles and freedom, jubilee. God is declaring jubilee in our body and mm -hmm. our in our souls and our spirit. And it's like that is what the Lord is doing. He's like Thank you. And I just, his heart is just so tender yeah. towards his people. And his heart is just so full of love and joy and compassion. So many times in the Bible when the word is, is um, it says he was moved with compassion mm -hmm. and he healed somebody and he did something in their life. And, and even in this story with like Luke 7, it's like because of what she did and how she demonstrated herself to him, he, he, it's like you are forgiven and you can go in peace and be free. Yeah. So I just believe that the Lord is going to, he's going to move in such a way that there is, there is freedom in our hearts and there is a peace. I think that's why there's there is a rest that is going to come to the body of Christ. There is a rest that is going to come upon his people who have been through this journey where it's like it is truly just like a peace from the Lord that is beyond all understanding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and I feel like I've kind of entered into that mm -hmm. this week. Like mm -hmm. literally just this yesterday. What's today? Monday? Mhm. Mm yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, whoa, that's why I didn't do the emails yesterday, because the Lord was like, no, just chill out. And there was so much I didn't do yet. I don't, I don't know that I did anything that I would normally do. Yeah. You know, even like trying to pursue the Lord, he's like, ah, ta, 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 ta. just, just rest, just chill. Just, and I just, I just got this vision of me being in like the lazy river in one of those pool areas where mm -hmm. you just push off the side and you just kind of float. Mm -hmm. And God's like, that's exactly where I have you, yeah. like. Like, and that's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. I want you to go deeper and deeper into it. Just yeah. being anxious for nothing. Because I get anxious about a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. Like, I get anxious about just, you know, doing the PayPal thank yous, honestly. It really bothered me to not do those yesterday. Mm -hmm. But God was like, D don't worry. They're giving to me, not you. Mm -hmm. You just get to receive the benefit. <laughs> I'm like, well, thank you. Can I have some more benefits? No, <laughs> humor even in a moment like this hallelujah anyway <laughs> but i'm just like i'm just like you know but it's like you can either you have a choice to make yeah. you can just hold on and go no i've got to do this or no i've got to go do that and no even just this morning you know we've been getting the number 60 like crazy that's a whole nother video but it was like but michelle she got it she was like it's it really is isaiah chapter 60 i was like oh okay cool give me the bible i'm gonna read the bible and i got through by barely got through verse one and god's like no man just chill relax and i was mm -hmm. like what are you doing you know what i mean <laughs> what are you doing come on i gotta seek i gotta i gotta gotta go after you i gotta he's just like hey chill out man just go in peace here have a sip of my heavenly pineapple drink i don't know but well, it was just it really a sense of like it's something like, because god gave me that that word like the work's done it's all done exactly this this week is about celebrating everything mm -hmm. being all done. Yeah, you're... remembering, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. resting, like true Sabbath rest. It's yeah. like relax, man, in the presence of God, yes. and just sing praises. Mm -hmm. You know, just get have fun, get happy, celebrate. Yeah, you know. Well, because it's like that. What he said to both women, it's like your faith has healed you mm -hmm. you know go in peace go in peace it's like just be you know and and be free from all those things the that distressing that things. can be distressing yeah. and so it's like wow god you are so good yeah and yeah and so yeah there's so much yeah. more i could say but <laughs> but <laughs> we're gonna like, wrap it up here <laughs> it's like god just doing some awesome he stuff really is. some amazing things you know yeah so 
that's I think that really is all that we're gonna share for now. Um, that's our official closing. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I do just pray that you just hear the heart of God mm -hmm. and just how much He really truly loves you and values you, and that you can remain in great hope and and be at peace that the mm. Lord is going to do and fulfill His word over your life that He yeah. has spoken. Yeah. And um, so. Until next time, guys, yeah. we really love you and appreciate each and every one of you. More than we can ever say, and it's almost frustrating because I want to say it so yeah. much, but it's like, there was this poet that said something like, if you could, ex if you, when you really love someone and you can't express it, that's true love. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, you have to spend all this time just trying to show it over, you know, but it's like, if you could just say, hey, I love you like this and I can explain it, that's about it. It's like, no, you don't love that person. <laughs> When you love someone, it just like, oh, you just, your heart just. You demonstrate. Yeah, it can only be demonstrated, mm -hmm. you know? And that's what God's been doing in our lives for the past couple of years in this crazy journey. It's like, I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to show you. And it's like, oh, now I'm going to really show you some really cool stuff right about now. Yeah. So I'm like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, love you that, guys. <laughs> we will see you later. Appreciate you, every one of you. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>